Today we're going to talk about eight reasons why you should not buy a luxury bag. And these reasons all come from you guys, so stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. So today's video is a Eight reasons why you should not buy a luxury bag and I said these reasons all come from you guys these are things that I have heard mentioned in the luxury community in comments on my videos comments on other people's videos in the Facebook groups all complaints about luxury bags and why you might not want to buy one. Let's jump right in with probably the most obvious one, the price. We all know these bags are ridiculously overpriced no matter what these luxury companies say about how the bags are made or the materials, the quality, the craftsmanship. There is nothing, nothing that justifies the prices of these bags, especially these days with the price increases just going insane. Many of us have come to the point where we are not willing to spend the money, at least retail, on these bags anymore because the prices are so outrageous. And most of us have already been in a position where we recognize the prices are crazy, but we've been willing to pay them for whatever reason. And for many of us, it's just crossed the line at this point. Also, most of us have an average income and most of us have to save to buy these bags. So every time that price point is pushed upward, and of course it always only goes upward, that means we have to save more money and it takes more time and ultimately that means fewer opportunities to purchase. This, of course, if you are a regular watcher of my channel, is why I go pre-loved rather than new on most items. You can find much better deals pre-loved on gorgeous bags. Some bags hold their value well, some are much more expensive than retail, but I would guess most luxury bags, I'm not talking about the most popular ones here, but most that are made, the prices go down. And you might be surprised at how much you can save from retail, even for bags that started out very expensive or bags that are exotic materials. I have a Gucci ostrich bag, for example. Let me grab it. I got it. This one. This is the Gucci Jackie Soft Hobo bag. And this obviously has the Gucci stripe on it, but it is made of ostrich and it's real ostrich, it's not just like embossed calfskin. And this bag was originally, now I have to go back and look to be sure. I'll put it on the screen below here. I wanna say it was 6,000 something, ridiculous, whatever the price was. And I paid under $1,000 for it because I got it pre-loved and it's in spectacular condition. So if you're willing to not go the brand new latest bag route, you can find incredible deals on the pre-loved market. And of course I will have my favorite pre-loved sites linked below in the description box. Reason number two you should not buy luxury handbags is that they make you a target for theft, robbery, a stick up, a mugging, a grab and run, whatever you might want to call it. Now, personally, I have never felt like this was an issue and I have lived in New York. Of course, I didn't have luxury bags then, but I've just never been anywhere that I felt unsafe carrying a handbag, even some shadier places in New York City. But I have heard many people mention this, that there are occasions when they don't want to carry a luxury bag because because they feel like it makes them a target, particularly on vacation in high tourist areas. I remember when we were planning our trip to Italy, we kept hearing these things about people stealing your bag and these different methods that they use for it, or like slashing the handle on it and grabbing it and running. And we'd never been there before, so we didn't know what to expect. So I bought a bag that had a chain strap on it. It was not a luxury bag. It was very understated. It was small. It was something I could keep close to me, crossbody, so it was difficult to be yanked off of me. Now once we got there, there were no issues at all. There was nothing to be that worried about. But this is a reason that I hear. I hear people say that they only carry bags that are not branded. They never take a luxury bag to particular places. I think that's a very individual perspective, but it is something people talk about. Reason number three, Vachetta. Now this tends to be specific to Louis Vuitton bags, which are more likely to have Vachetta on them than a lot of other bags. Vachetta, if you don't know, is an untreated leather. Now, Louis Vuitton in the past few years has been treating their Vachetta so it doesn't have the issues that I'm about to talk about. But a lot of people, especially
especially when they're new to Louis Vuitton, worry a lot about the Vachetta. They worry about the patina, which is how it ages and how the color changes. For example, this bag is from about 2017. This bag is from the 1980s. And you can see the difference in the color of the Vachetta here. This bag I keep in my closet in a dark space. I'm careful with it. It doesn't get exposed to light, which is what causes the patina. This bag with age and exposure has patina, so it's darker. Also, the untreated leather is very susceptible to staining like watermarks. So if it rains, you're going to get some water spots on your Vachetta. Now, a pretty easy tip to help get those out is immediately wipe all the Vachetta with a damp rag to get it all a little bit wet. And then that should even out the water spots because all the Vachetta is wet, so it should dry evenly. Vachetta is also prone to scuffing, like on the bottom of a Noé bag. The corners get scuffed pretty easily. And because of all this, when somebody buys a Louis Vuitton bag that has Vachetta on it, a lot of people are afraid to carry their bags. And why would you spend so much money on this bag you've wanted for so long if you're not going to carry it? The whole point is to carry these bags, right? In a similar vein, reason number three not to buy luxury is color transfer. People worry about this mostly with light colored bags. This is the Damier Zur Speedy from Louis Vuitton. And you definitely, if you look on the pre-loved market at used bags, you see color transfer on some of these. And a lot of people worry about that. You also see it on light colored leather bags from Louis Vuitton and other brands. I have never had this issue. The impression that I have of how this most often happens is that people will wear a bag up against blue jeans and it moves along the blue jeans. The color of the jeans, the dye rubs off onto the bag. Color transfer is very difficult, if not impossible, to remove. So it is something you want to be careful with with your lighter colored bags. However, I would offer that the simple solution is to not wear really new jeans with those bags. Make sure you've washed those jeans quite a few times before you have an expensive bag rubbing up against them. Reason number five not to buy luxury handbags is the games that are involved in the system. Most of us already know about the Hermes game, the Hermes journey, and I won't go into that, but all of the things involved, it is ridiculous and a lot of people are aware of it and not willing to play that game. But there are other games. Just like with Hermes, you can't walk into a store and buy a burger or Kelly. You also, these days, often can't just walk into a Louis Vuitton and buy a Neverfull or a Speedy or any other very popular item. You also can't walk into most of these luxury stores and purchase an item from a new popular collection. Louis Vuitton tends to limit their inventory so it's just not available even on popular items that aren't special edition anything. And then a lot of the brands that have popular new collections come out, often they're sold out before they are even released, which is insane. Now from the perspective of the companies, that's great. They're selling their products, whatever works, right? But from the perspective of a customer, it really feels disrespectful. These products are hyped up. We see them. We love them. They're so expensive. We're willing to pay for them. And you go in to get it and you get a bit brokenhearted because you can't even get your hands on it. You have to have connections to people to be able to request items ahead of time and have them reserved for you. And this is something that tends to be specific to luxury brands. Like, this isn't going to happen most other places you shop. It's very disappointing. It's kind of hurtful to the customer. And it can definitely make you not want to deal with luxury at all. Reason number six that you would not want to buy luxury handbags is the decline in quality. I've heard about this mostly regarding Louis Vuitton and Chanel. Their prices only go up, but their quality declines. Some of the known issues with Louis Vuitton, the company does work to correct. For example, the Pochette Matisse. There were at least three versions of the coated canvas bag where they made improvements each time. But we've also heard the canvas quality isn't as good as it used to be, or Chanel's quality isn't as good as it used to be. The prices have gone up. Back in the day, you could get hardware that was actually gold-plated. Now it's not at all, and it's even more expensive. Those are just a couple of examples. Why would you want to buy luxury bags when the prices go up and the quality goes down? If the prices go up, quality should go up with it to justify the price, right? But that's not how it really works. Reason number seven you would not want to buy luxury handbags is that they're so common. They're so basic. Everybody has the Neverfull. Everybody has the Speedy. Everybody has the Cloud. 
classic flap. Of course that isn't really true and it totally depends on where you live. If you watch a lot of these luxury videos it seems like everybody has everything and in some neighborhoods across the country you can go to your grocery store or wherever and everybody's carrying the Neverfull or fill in the blank bag. That's not really how it is in most places but a lot of people do feel that way that I don't want X, Y, or Z because I see it everywhere and I want something different. Reason number eight why you would not want a luxury handbag. The luxury handbag judgment. I think we're all familiar with this. For some reason people judge you if you have a luxury handbag in ways that they don't judge other people for having other expensive things. There's something about luxury handbags that triggers people. People who don't understand them. They make assumptions about you that you're trying to be something you're not or you're trying to show off, or you carry the bag because you want other people to think that you're rich or something. There are so many different erroneous ideas that they have. Now personally, because I have this channel, I've put myself out there, a lot of people feel like they're entitled to throw judgments at me. I've gotten my share of that over the years of being on YouTube. And in our personal lives, we probably all have people who don't understand. However, I'm talking here to people who love handbags and tend to love luxury handbags if you're watching this channel. So you guys get it. You know that we don't buy bags for other people. It's not about what other people think of us. We buy these bags, we spend our hard-earned money on them because we enjoy them. So ultimately it doesn't matter what other people think, it only matters what we think. So even though you know that judgment exists, try not to let it bother you because those people are wrong and they're ignorant about why you like luxury handbags and why most of us like them and carry them. And I'm going to throw in one bonus reason for you not to buy luxury handbags. Number nine, you can get more for your money elsewhere. Now I did mention in number one you can find some fabulous deals on beautiful beautiful bags on the pre-loved market and that's still true. But I saw something this morning that I want to share with you. I was working on a community post. I mentioned that at the beginning. I share deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds with you in my community posts. If you don't know where those are you can go to my community tab on my YouTube homepage. And today's community post was about exotic bags. As I was searching for crocodile bags I found something very interesting interesting, which was that many luxury brands, when they have a croc bag, it's croc embossed. Whereas for lesser prices, you can find actual croc bags, bags made from actual crocodile, if that's what you're looking for, for quite a bit less. Now they're still not cheap, but if that's what you're looking for, you're going to get more for your money with a different brand, not so much with the luxury brands. Not that the luxury brands don't offer those leathers, but they are astronomically more expensive. And of course you don't have to have a luxury brand bag to have a high quality, well-designed bag, which we discussed in my previous video, which was a collaboration with Styled by Gwenny, where we talked about contemporary bags versus versus luxury bags. So I will link that video in the description box below for you and I hope you go check that out. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.